and here we are. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sidetrack Sunday. I'm a little, a little off kilter for a hot moment. Give me a second. All right. I think I got everything squared away. Well, here we are. It is hot as, it's hot as, well, it's hot outside. Is there anybody anywhere in this chat that's actually experiencing cool weather? Because I really want some. It's so hot. Okay, sound, does sound good? Can y'all hear me? The microphone's not doing anything funky. I seem to be doing well with my bars for my internet, so I shouldn't have any choppiness. Give it a hot minute and then get started. Steve says it's 85, Grandpa says it's 105. Yeah, you know, here in Florida, they're saying that it's, I don't know, 62 out, but it feels like 125, so I don't even know anymore. There's my honeymoon. Hot in my refrigerator as well. Oh no, Ray, that stinks. That's no, that's no bueno. That's not good at all. All right, let's see if I can pop out. Let's see if I can pop out the participants list if I remember how to do that because I've been very spoiled with my sidekick, Mr. Rick Bailey. All right, so let's say hi to everybody before we get started. We have Anthony Dodge, the model train outsider. We have Artie from Osmerica Model Railroading, Dave BNSF, Inscale, DB Tech Dave. Hey, buddy. Um, Deep Run Railroad Mike, Derek Alexander, James from Dundas Junction Model Railroad, JD Grandpa Rails, Joe Rader from Black Rock Central Railroad, John Benicki, Lynn McCurdy and the HD MMRC, <laughs> Mom and Son Train Rail fans. Hi, Tammy and Ray. Myself, PK and W Model Works, Ray Babel, Ron Moen, Santa Fe Bob, Schuylkill River Valley. I think I said that wrong, but I'll keep going. <laughs> My numero uno, Scott Johnson, Thomas Split Rock, Steve 87th, and Tim D. And don't forget, three dubs is in the house as well. All right, I did it. I got the participants list and I didn't mess it up. Oh, and it looks like Tim D just popped in there. So, hey, Tim D, I hope I didn't miss anybody. If I did, I apologize. Hi to everybody. Okay, I'm going to click back out of this because that's behind what I'm saying and it's throwing me off. All righty. So, is everybody doing good tonight? We all, like, happy to be a uh, Sunday evening at 8 o'clock, <laughs> knowing that Monday starts, well, tomorrow. Yeesh, so hot out. It's hot in the car. It's hot outside. It's hot in the house. It's hot in the refrigerator for Ray Mobile. Yeesh. Okay, so before I forget, because um, I have no memory, I have to write a list down and I don't want to forget. Um, first and foremost, John number two, Schuylkill River Valley wins the cookie. He was first in here at 9.30 a.m. this morning. So thank you, John. And what else? Oh, I have three thank yous to do. Um, not necessarily in order, but let me grab my box. Hold on. Whew, cracking a sweat just doing this. Lord, I need like, I don't know, uh, ice cubes and I don't know, a sprinkler because it is so hot. And I'm putting my earbuds in improperly and I don't need my earbuds because I'm not listening to music anymore because I'm listening to y'all, which I can't hear y'all. So I don't need those. Oh, good. All right. So, oh no, I went, I went wonky. Did I fix it? I fixed it. Okay, I'll put this in my lap. The camera's being testy. So I got a goodie bag, a goodie box in the mail from Dave, DB Tech. Uh, the last time I did my Sidetrack Sunday, I mentioned about the DPDT switches. And he was super awesome. And he sent me not only that, but also a single as well. And that's not the only thing. So here we go. First of all... I have to laugh because on the box, <laughs> the box was, was hysterical. Where's it at? So it says on the box, don't, oop, I don't want to dox myself. <laughs> Where am I at? Don't open from the bottom like Rick did. The best. So shout out to Rick. <laughs> that was fantastic. So of course, you know, everything's important, but dudes, I got snacky snacks. I got some beef jerky, which I haven't opened because I haven't even been in here. It's been crazy. And I got some um, combos with cheddar cheese in them. 
which I'm probably going to open one of these tonight because I'm a little snacky. I got some sunflower, sunflower kernels, so I was very, very excited. But on a serious note, he sent a very, very nice little letter. I very much appreciate this, Dave. I have these little doodads, the little pull ties for the wires. 12 volt power supply. Sweet. That's something I didn't even think about, you know? It's like you just don't think. And then he sent me some double pull, double throw switches and a single pull. And he 3D printed the covers, which is going to make it so much easier when I mount it on the actual layout. So I'm super, super excited about that. Again, I didn't even think about that. And then I believe this is a relay switch, but forgive me because I'd have to read the letter again. But pretty cool. And I got this cute little person. Isn't he cute? He just sits like on the little side. He's very cute. I'm going to paint him up. Maybe put like a little engineer hat on him and put him on my layout. But that's not the best part. The best part is I got a trolley, a powered trolley. Look at how neat. Isn't he cool? He's so fluffy. Yes, trains can be fluffy. You got cabis, you got trolleys, they're fluffy. What can I tell you? So I got that. And another really cool little doodad is this baby Ruth car. And he does a chugga chugga noise when he's going behind the locomotive. Can't really get the full effect unless it's on the track, but it is super, super cool. So I got that as well. And then, not just all that, I also got a little pack of peoples. Aren't they cute? So I'm very, very excited. So thank you, Dave. I really do appreciate it. DB Tech, you're the best. So now I gotta pack all the stuff back in here without breaking anything. Oh yeah. This is why I'm, I'm not supposed to be in charge. Slowly packing my stuff away. I don't want to get in a hurry and then break something. And this trolley is so cool. And the baby Ruth car, that is so neat. These will be running on the layout, 100%. All right, put all this stuff back in there. Put the ties, put the switches. I'm so excited to have double pull, double throw switches and single pull. I'm just so excited. Call me crazy. All right. So let me do the little thingies. Oh, did I take the snacks? Not the snacky snacks. So what should I get? All right, you guys tell me which ones to open. I'm going to be like Bernard from Mini Prince. Should I have the peppered beef jerky or the original beef jerky as my snack tonight? Y'all tell me which one I should open and eat. I have never had jerky. I have no idea. All right. So I'm excited to try it. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put my little peoples in there. I'm put my little people there. Okay. And then also I got a really cool picture of Ray from mom and son train rail fans. Very, very cool with a sweet letter. DB tech. Dave is saying he likes the peppered. All right. We have one in the peppered. So I'll put peppered up and we'll see if anybody else says anything. Okay. Three dubs peppered. Steve is peppered. JD's peppered. What is a wignacious fire monk? Nisi, it's nice that you put your name in your box in case it goes. <laughs> I mean, you never know. So this is very nice. So Tammy, thank you very, very much. This was really cool. And then also, not last but not least, um, Rachel was on, oh, I almost said the wrong name. Rachel was on Ray's Sidetrack Sunday a few weeks ago talking about her, um, her oh, the place that she works for, the hospice in Maryland and they're doing the seafood, the crab fest, the same time as the Timonium train show. And so Mr. Nisi and I signed up for some raffle tickets. Once I found out you didn't have to be like there. So I signed up for some raffle tickets. I got a really cool thank you card and I got this really cool, uh, words escape me. This, this turtle here, I got this turtle and this really sweet, I believe the Maryland state flag uh, crab. So that was kind of cool. So thank you, Rachel. So I got that. All right. It looks like I'm opening pepper. The trolley might be able to be powered from overhead wire and easy. Well, it has the pull thing, but I don't know. Oh no, I'm not. What is, what's the word for those cat, 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 something. Cat, mm, catenaries. I'm not, I'm not doing catenaries. On the, 
I'm not going for that much real, realism. All right, let me put this on my other desk so this doesn't get smushed up. All right, so I guess I'm opening the pet bird because wombat jerky. We are not eating wombat jerky. That is not happening. Oh, you're welcome, Ray. You're absolutely welcome. Okay, I'm opening peppers, so I'm if 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 I don't like it, then it's all it's it's y'all's fault, right? But I mean, we shall see. All right, I'm gonna crack this open real quick. All right, I'm making I'm making a mess. All right, here we go. Here it goes. Kittenary for new people, so it's catenary, right? All right, we're going to try it. Let's see what happens. Might be a little spicy. Oh, no. All I got is water. How are you? Mmm. It's pretty good. I don't have a kick to it. Oh, it's got a kick. <laughs> oh, my. Hey, Mr. Nisi, you need to come try this. I've seriously never had beef jerky. I thought you could only buy it in sticks. All right. I'm going to shove that in there. I'm going to talk with my mouth full. I'm going to be such a lady tonight. I'm telling you. Such a lady. All right. Ooh, it does have a kick. And I'm a wuss. So, all right. So I have thanked Rachel, Tammy and Ray, and Dave from DB Tech. And John got the cookie. So I have all that done. You got to try this. Mumbo definitely got some kick to it. You're probably going to be like, ah, it's nothing. So Mr. Nisi is now currently going to try it. It is good. I didn't think I would. Honestly, I did not think I would like. Oh, he's going to do it on camera. <laughs> the only place in the world where you can eat with your mouth full, I mean, talk with your mouth full, is right now. i to cross off my list all the stuff that I've done. Won't forget. It is a little spicy. It is a little spicy. It is good. Can you get me like a root beer or something? Because water and spice are not the best plan. I don't want to drink milk. All right. So, what am I doing? What am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. So, my next sidetrack Sunday that I'm going to be doing. What is this? August? And September. Is I'm going to start getting my fingers wet in the decaling decals or decals depending on where you're from i had a cousin who passed away recently from glioblastoma and i'm gonna do a tribute car to her to run on my railroad and i thought i would do two cars and give one to her parents so that they would have one as well and if they want to do a giveaway with it or if they just want to keep it for whatever they can have it so i'll be working on that so you guys come along for the ride <laughs> see how well that goes i'm gonna need you guys as like like support so that when i get upset like i can figure it out because poor rick that poor man he's always like talking me down off the ledge when i'm doing new things oh i dropped my person a person just took a dixie all right so let's fix my camera here so y'all aren't staring at me you'll still see me but it won't be as Full front. Okay, let me move my notes because I don't want y'all seeing my cheat sheet. So I'm, whew, I really need that root beer, Mr. Nisi. I'm going to shove more of this in my mouth because it's really good. Oh, oh you put it in the, the Ricker's cup? Yeah. Cup the Ricker from Fultz Bailey. Can they see you? Or they just look at Oh, okay. Yeah, I have the camera set up. So what's everybody saying? Oh, um, I just saw that Lynn McCurdy was saying that he showed your picture to his brother-in-law in Oregon. And the brother-in-law agreed that you look like his twin and you act like him too. <laughs> <laughs> and you look like one too. And I'm like, I'm chomping. I'm chomping. Hey, off the rails from Western Australia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know I am. I'm, I'm just chewing terribly. That's why I don't chew bubble gum in public because I'm like, <sighs> like a cow. But this is really good jerky. Just don't drop the jerky. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, we're we're off the rails. 
but you know, oh, you can't see the mug. I gotta, I gotta move the hand. All right, so now I have to make sure that I don't knock this off of the uh, the desk. So I'm gonna put it on my left side, even though I don't wanna. I don't think I've missed anything. You guys are probably just saying I'm crazy. Beef sticks are totally a different thing. Oh, it's beef sticks. They're not jerky. I just assumed it was all the same. Yeah, I have no clue. Beef jerky doesn't come in sticks. It comes in strips. All right. Hey, Tim. If I miss somebody, I apologize again. Squirrel in headlights when I get on here, especially when it's just me. I've been pretty fortunate to have Rick with me. But Rick, I believe, is on little vacation. Okay, so I haven't missed anything. All right, so where's the tree? He's on vacation, Derek. Doing a quick little vacay before the kids go back to school, which I don't blame him. Go get some rest and whatever. Oh, Perseo and the family scene. Well, thank you, Ray. So I'm kind of excited about working on that on those box cars for them because I just want to be able to do something. You know, it's like, what do you do? I don't know what to do, but I can do something trains. Okay, so here's my PB lid that I started working on. And currently this is wet and there's glue. You can probably see the glue because for some reason I am horrible at coming up with ideas in, if you give me too much time, I can't come up with anything. Now, when my feet are on the, in the fire, then all of a sudden I come up with 80 ideas, all of which you needed six weeks to prepare. So, um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is this is, I've already pre-painted the bottom. I glued this, the foam inside of the peanut butter lid. And I pre-painted green for, you know, grass, whatever. And then I did brown for a dirt path. I went ahead and took that insulation foam, that pink panther insulation foam. And I cut it to fit the peanut butter lid as another level and then kind of like sliced at it the way I've seen you guys do with a, uh, what is this? Sharpie, not Sharpie. What is this? Exacto knife, Sharpie. Started hacking away at it and then painted it up so it's not smooth. And that's kind of like a rock, rock wall, I guess. And what I want to do is I've got some, got some trees. Got to have some Rick Bailey's on your, on your, uh, layout or your peanut butter lid because no scene is complete without some sort of trees. Okay. And I've got these horses that I had on my layout originally and they've got riders on them. You see some of them have like a platform that is, I used to have them stuck to the ground cover back when I was just using that rollout ground cover. And then, you know, once you use it, you realize you really don't like using it. So I kind of cut the stuff to give it more of a platform for them to stand on, make it easier to glue them down and painted it the same color as this. So I've got four of them. I think, however, I can probably only use about three. And I believe I'm going to go with the whole idea that a little bit of um, a rock avalanche, if you will, kind of like comes across their path. And so they're sort of stopped and kind of like doing one of those numbers. Now this rock wall isn't exactly HO scale as far as height goes. And these are HO scale, but I mean, you know, somewhere, somewhere out there that would be prototypical. I'm sure we could find it if we looked. So while I was waiting uh, to go live, I went ahead and cut the extra piece and painted it with some gray acrylic paint and slapped it on there with some glue and it's still pretty it's still pretty tacky but it's not the end of the world so now i'm gonna decide what i'm doing next i might because i wonder if i could put the trees on top that might actually be better but i noticed when i put these trees just straight into the foam they just kind of like fell over so i'm probably gonna have to use glue all right let's see what's everybody saying uh, Sparky took a little vacation as well. Can't wait to see his video. Oh, sweet. Uh, roadkill jerky at off the rails, Western Australia. Yeah, especially now that it's owned by, the, okay, well, that, that took a turn. Monopoly houses. <laughs> no Monopoly houses. Did you see all the picture of all the peanut jars my sister-in-law gave us? 
Yeah, you sent me um you sent me a thing on Messenger and holy moly, she didn't just give you yeah, she gave you the entire kit and caboodle, the jars and the with the lids on it. You're set. I went ahead and uh cannibalized one of the last uh, um lids that I did and just popped it out. Cause I, I wanted to keep my skeletons. I don't want to have to get new skeletons. So that's where I'm going with that. So I'm going to try to work and chat, but thanks PK. I Bruce it. Appreciate it. So I'm going to try to work and chat. I mean, you know, we'll see how that works out. But what is the theme of the PB lid contest? Summertime. And I figured these guys are out on horseback in the summer. That's what I did upstate New York a few years ago when I was a few years old. Gosh, how many years was that? 30 years ago? Whew. Yeah. And me and horses don't get along very well. So being up in upstate New York, you already feel already awkward on a horse and being up in the all in the rocky area and stuff up there and feeling like you're just going to take a Dixie. So, yeah. My glue is drawing pretty good. I got to tell you, I don't know. I, I still don't know who it was that told me about this uh, turbo tacky glue. But guys, this stuff is, this stuff is phenomenal. So where is your mini print? So my mini print is, he said, you don't have to use the actual mini prints. You can use a mini print. And if I want to, I bought some eagles from Bernard. So I have eagles in this box so if i want to i can throw an eagle on there or what do you guys think oh i should ask you guys this question too i can't do sasquatch because i got him an in scale to go on my wall so who should i put on my pb lid should it be sparky i need you to vote sparky plumber which would be hysterical because he's on a um skateboard what else what else what else i've got rick the tree Heath with his camera. You all can remember this. <laughs> if you can remember all of it, that'll be great. I'm missing somebody. There's my eagles. There's a person here. Oh, here's Tom. I think that's all the peoples that I have. All right. So who do you want? Sparky, Plumber, Rick, or Tom? And Heath. I got Heath. Okay, Tammy says Plumber. All right, and I'll do a bald eagle. He can be in the tree. That'll be perfect. Thanks, Steve. Thank you for uh, asking me that because that actually opened up the whole thing. The eagles are a great band. <laughs> I'm going to put my mini prints box down there. Plumber off the rock wall. Steve, this is, you are like the best. All right, so we got plumber. All right, so plumber's a definite. Should I put somebody else? Should I add a second person? I mean, we got Heath and Rick, Tom, and Sparky left. Should I add one of them? Sparky, Sparky taking pictures of Plumber. Is Sparky holding a camera? Oh, he is holding a camera. All right, so we could do that. All right, that's going to be fantastic. All right, Plumber is going to skateboard off of this not HO scale cliff because as I sat here talking to him, I realized it's not to scale. I can't imagine Heath out nature with horses. Plumber might be the most likely to be in the woods. All right, you guys. It's Sparky coming. I mean, Plumber coming off of the thing on a skateboard and Sparky taking pictures. And Rick and Heath and Tom are going to go back in the box for another time. All right. And I'm shaking the whole desk. I apologize. Eagle carrying Heath away. <laughs> no, we need to keep Heath. <laughs> Keith has the camera taking a picture of Plumber. Well, yeah, but his is on a stand. I think we're going to wait. I think you're right. I don't see him out. Keith, if you're here, I don't picture you out in the wilderness either. <laughs> Could be wrong. Who was getting... Oh, yeah, we need like a little... You know what? That's what Bernard needs to do. He needs to make like a, like a little scanner thing, and then we could like put the people on the scanner that would be a cool idea now we have to email them and tell them hey this is something else you need to make 
All right, I'm really excited. So these guys will get painted, obviously off camera, because I'm going to have to use my uh, my extra handy dandy opti eyes, because I will go cross eyed trying to do that. Sparky and he taking pictures of the cowboys with the plumber coming off the cliff about to land on them. That is kind of funny. Hey, my life's tracks. If I missed you, hey. Heath needs a mini print of him on a banana peel. No slippy slideys here. <laughs> Tree falling off Rick. No, no. Rick is the tree. No. Ooh. All right. I'm taking another chew of this beef jerky because it really is good and I'm really, really hungry. All right. So if my tongue falls off. You will need a slope or an incline for plumber or skateboard. Do I? So I think the whole thing is. So how how tall is this? Because this doesn't. I mean, these are HO scale horses, and I don't think they're six feet tall at the shoulder. Isn't that not how you measure a horse? Of course, I mean six feet is pretty high up. Where's my? Where is my thing? I apologize for the chomping and chewing. This jerky is really good. Eagle carry away the jerky. <laughs> Everything in the wilderness to someone from Manhattan. <laughs> Damn. This stuff is addictive. Do you have HO horse poop? No, I got HO rattlesnakes, though. I could probably make horse poop. All right. Oh, my God. I'm really chomping a lot. That's terrible. If my parents are watching, my mother's probably like, close your mouth. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is, it's only four foot. That's only a, that's only a four foot HO scale wall. I'm thinking plumber's coming off of four feet. He, he climbed up there and he's just like, hey mom, no hands. And Sparky's going to take a picture of him doing it. So I'm not going to worry about slope. It is kicky though. You do have to have something. Okay. Well, I tell you what, I keep using these mini prints. Mr. Nisi's going to have to get me some more mini prints. Because I have my eyes on those over the edge. Those are going to look awesome. We can't wait to get some of those. All right, what am I doing? <laughs> I guess I should glue the horses down first. Oh, wait. I only need like one horse now because I can't use this chick because oh, you probably can't see her. She's got her hands up in the air. I don't really understand the whole pose. Hands are in the air. Like she just don't care. So everybody's, this guy's got a horse on a leash that's not touching the horse. So we're not going to use him. And if I've got plumber, I'm going to have to pull plumber out of here. My life's tracks. I have HO horse poo. Mouse ran across my test track shell. Mouse ran across my test. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's not good. Rattlesnake on the rock slide. Yeah, because they'll be nice and warm. All right. I might end up using some rattlesnakes. All right. Let me just set. Oopsie. Plumber's not cooperating. All right. If I've got the horse. Do I keep the horses in the scene? Somebody said, lady on the horse, Karen, calling the cops on the plumber for skateboarding. Oh, you guys, you guys, this is great. All right, I got to take notes. I got to take notes. Karen on horse, calling cops. I really have to take notes because I really... Okay, plumber is, there's plumber right there, if you can see him. There's Karen. And then Sparky. Sparky's going to have to be over here. And then I could put tree, I could put like a tree or two here. Somebody said you shouldn't do even number of trees, so it's one, three, or five, correct? I've got three trees out. Man, I've lost my trees. They're right in front of me. Oh, yes. I am so on top of it. Clapping. Or is that Splicker? Yeah, because Palmer is coming off the wall across the horses. Okay. 
So Sparky's going to have to go here. There's my horse. So I can glue my horse down, put some dirt along that path after the horse is glued down. All right, let me get some glue so I at least get a horse down. Horse down! Everybody out! Where's the glue? I literally showed it to y'all. There it is. Hysterical blindness is set in. All right, what horse am I going to use? What, the black horse? Black beauty? I don't want the brown horse because it's going to be the same color as the... I want to see it. I guess I'll use the black one. All right, we're going to use some of this tacky glue. Like I said, this, this turbo tacky stuff is phenomenal. Used it on wood because it dries clear. On my wood kits, it's amazing. And it's fast. So when you stick it, you better be like happy that's where you want it because that's where it's going to go. Okay, I'm trying not to be very linear, so have a issue. I like to be symmetrical, and real life is not symmetrical. Heath using camera to make a TikTok of Karen complaining. <laughs> you guys are still pushing for Heath. Should I? Should I? Should I add Heath? Should it be Heath and Sparky with Plumber? I mean, I've got them. I can use them. Hey, John Arthur, there's my buddy. S-A-L, baby. What else? How about aliens? Oh, Dave BNSF. You know what? I think it was you. And it's funny because I feel bad because you said it. And I just figured it was just, you said turbo. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I got it. Well, then I was at Walmart and actually saw the word turbo. I'd never seen that before. And it. I just bought more of it. It's the best stuff. And it doesn't take a lot. You don't need a whole lot to do the job. All right. So we've got that. I think we're pulling Heath back out of the box. I don't know. All right. Is this dried? Yeah, this seems to have dried. I could probably put a tree up there, right? I think I like it. Got the horse on the side. I could do a tree here. As long as it's not even number of trees, then it's I'm not getting into a problem. I could do a tree up here and like two trees up there and maybe a tree down here. Depends on where he's going to go. Hey, Tiny Town Trains. T4, how's it going? Oh, I'm actually getting something done. I'm really glad I painted that before because I went to grab the gray paint, which is just some cheap acrylic paint, and it was all clumpy. And I have a little mixer thingy, but I was kind of crunched for time, so I didn't use it. And Mr. Nisi had to shake the thing for me. All right, I got dirt to put on this, but I guess I should probably wait on that. All right. Plumber. Maybe I should. All right, so I'm going to have to. Oh, I'm going to keep the little bits on the bottom of his skateboard so he'll go right into the thing really well. All right, Sparky. So do we determine if we're doing Heath? So I don't need all these horses. These guys can go to the side. Well, I don't know. Could do this one. She's having a hissy fit because, nah, I don't like her attitude. She's got an attitude. I don't like it. <laughs> Did I miss anybody? No, I don't think so. T4, I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't been in a lot of chats. I've been doing some stuff. And you know what? I think I'm going to do too. Maybe I'm doing too much. So if I've got Sparky. Wait, what? What was Mr. and Mr. Nisi shaking for you? He was shaking the bacon. That's what he was shaking. He was shaking my paint. Steve. Dirty boy. Two trees on top with plumber flying between them. Oh, yeah, because, well, I could do the two trees here, and you guys can't see what I'm doing. I could do a tree and a tree. That one's about to fall off the cliff. I could do a tree and a tree. And then plumber can come through here because he would be going at an angle. But that's two trees. So I need a third one. I can probably put the third one here and then no trees here. And this could just be shrubbery or, or whatever. I've got ground cover and I've got moss. 
I got all kinds of stuff. I have more stuff than I got brains. Don't forget the flashers. There's no flashers in the forest. Unless Nisi's there. Let's see. You need a lumberjack. I don't think. I don't think Mini Prince has lumberjacks yet. Could turn Rick into a lumberjack. <gasps> he could be a lumberjack. <laughs> Rick could probably be like, no, thank you. <laughs> All right. So, do you think two horses is too many? What do you think, guys? Can I do two horses? One of them's the unhappy camper because they got spooked by the plumber. Forest critters are generally naked. They're naked, but they're furry. So they're not technically naked. Nisi J, horse star on STS, who'd have thunk? I'm not horsing around. I'm playing with the horsies. It's not the same thing. Oh, yes, a shrubbery. You can't forget that. Yes, I need a shrubbery and some coconuts. I need coconuts. <sighs> I need a lumberjack. Lumberjack cutting down the tree. That's what I need. A root beer tastes tasty. Okay. I'm sitting here clock flapping my jaws. I think I'm going to do two horsies. Because why not? Yep, I'm doing two horses. I'm going for it. I'm living my best life. Da, 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 come out of there. There you go. Smooshy, smooshy. All right. A little bit of schmutz on that. Okay, this person's going to be in front of that person. So push you down. Wipe off my glue because it's got the schmutz. Okay, I lost my lid. There you go. Hey, Martin, how's it going? I'm a lumberjack and I work all day. What is the wing velocity of... <laughs> I'm just going to say me. Lady Godiva with a shrubbery. You guys have already gone down the rabbit hole. That's fantastic. Oh, I need a killer rabbit too. I don't have any killer rabbits. That would even be more awesome. Pigs are naked. Yeah, they kind of are. They're kind of big and pink. and. Yeah. All right, Edward. Thanks for pointing out the naked pigs. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of, they got fur. It's just pink most of the time. Two horses are good. They're usually in Paris. Yeah, you're true. You're right. All right. So I got, so far I have accomplished on STS, I have two horses glued down to the dirt. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm going well. Like I said, plumber and um, Sparky are going to have to get painted separate after this because I will not be able to see them. So I need a space for plumber to go. And I'm thinking... Push that tree down. But they really don't. I'm going to have to like drill a hole. But all right. At least I'll know where these trees are going to go. All right. Here's a tree. And maybe here's a tree. All right. And then plumber can come through that. I don't know if they'll be able to see plumber or not. All right. Two trees over there. And then I'll figure out a tree on this side. All right, so how, why, I assumed because it has this stem, it has a bit of a stem on the bottom. I thought I would just puncture that in there and it would stick. But I guess it's not deep enough. So do I need to scurry out or dig out a hole so that it actually comes up higher and cut this piece off? Or Because I don't, I feel like that extra stem is going to be a problem. Edward, you're the best. Here a tree, there a tree, everywhere a tree, tree. Jack comes in six packs. Jack comes in six packs? What? Thou shalt. All I can think of right now is the knights on top of the castle wall saying, I will fart in your general direction. <laughs> and then they throw a cow. Your killer rabbit is ripping the house apart since it is raining outside. Oh, you need to give the killer rabbit some wood to chew on. My bunnies always had wood to chew on. Untreated wood, but always had a block of wood. That kept uh, Bugsy and Thumper, and I ended up taking in um, a rabbit. I don't even remember that rabbit's name anymore. 
um, for a short time. And that's what they had was that so that they wouldn't chew on my power cords and that kind of stuff. And they were trained. Drill a hole for a bigger bit. Drill a off the rails. Forgive me. I can't read apparently. Drill a hole for a bigger bit. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. Trees go in the ground, Nisi. Artie? I don't know how trees act in Australia, but here in the Florida state, uh, trees do that same thing. But I mean, oh no, John, that doesn't sound like a good thing. All right. So I need to get this bit off of here because that's going to cause me more problems. And I am looking around for a cutting tool and I don't see one. I could probably use a pocket knife. Use my dad's pocket knife. If he's watching me, he's probably going to have a fit, but. Oh, yeah, that's not going to cut through that. Do I have... Oh, it is. How about that? Well, all right. I did. I got the little bit off of there. Sweet. All right. Forgive me, Dad. If you were French, I'd fart in your general direction. <laughs> Coconuts migrate. I'll go ahead and cut this tip off because I'll probably forget. It came off easier than I thought they would. My rabbit loves biting dogs, local dogs. When Mr. Nisi and I were first married, we rented this little house and it was such a small house. It actually started out as a horse stable and the people that rented it to us, the, the him and his wife had lived there and he a very talented uh individual he um actually built on the rest of it and made it into a house um and where was it going with this oh so anyways it was small to for the point and our kitchen was uh linoleum and thumper couldn't walk on it with his feet his feet were small and he would slide everywhere so what I would do is I had a little carpet in front of my sink in the kitchen and I'd put Thumper on the carpet and then I would lay on the floor in front of the carpet and then Thumper, or, yeah, Thumper would then jump on my back and give me a very nice bunny massage for however long I was going to lay there. And it was awesome. And then I got Bugsy who had like almost like snowshoe feet and we had carpet by then because obviously we were living in our, our actual home and it didn't work out the same. Bugsy was not interested. Oh, let's see. She got heaps of chew toys. Well, I mean, yesterday I got bit by my turtle. Bob decided, usually she nips at our ankles or our, yeah, our ankles at night when she wants to go to bed. And she got up. She came over to me today. I thought she just wanted to hang out and crawl up on my foot and go to sleep. Nope. She actually bit me in the ankle. So I have a bit of a bruise from where she bit me. And I don't even know. I mean, there's still wild animals at the end of the day. Okay, Martin, I, I, no. Artie, so does my dog. Ella, she's a thing about any animal in her yard. Yeah, they're territorial. Bob, I have babysat other turtles for people. I actually used to watch this. My parents had a um, uh, a tree, the small tree, um, a bonsai tree, and they would go away for a couple weeks at a time on vacations and stuff, and I would take the tree in because you actually have to, like, babysit it. <clears throat> water it, keep it moist, this whole thing. Thing took up very little space and didn't even sit in the same window as Bob likes the sun, but Bob would not eat. The jealousy was very bad, and it's Bob is the only uh, entity in this house besides the family, and it's quite funny. However, if we have visitors, she does like to come out and investigate the new voices. Oh, let's see. You of course I am French. Of course I am French. Why do you think I have these outrageous accents? Oh my goodness! This is just you guys are you guys are killing me. Archery hang upside down here. Okay, sure. So I think they were Bohemian swallows. They had those little goatees, drank weird beer, smoked herbal jazz cigarettes, and wrote depressing poetry. Oh my god! You guys are descended. Have descended. All right. So. I got a tree going in here and I need to dig that out, I guess. And if I'm digging it out improperly, no yelling at me. We'll just have to muddle through. Wonder if I can like get an outline. These trees are going to be, Oh, 
well, heck, I didn't even have to do that. Well, I'm just going to. Boy, these store-bought trees are not as nice as the ones you guys make. We're gonna go. We might be too close together. Plumber, where are you at, plumber? All right, here we go, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna need some uh, long tweezers because I am never going to be able to hold him in there. All right, let's see. Oh no, I put the tree too close. Sorry, right, I'll cover it up with a rock. I put plumber. All right. Come on, plumber. Poor plumber. All right. Can I come between the trees? So, oof. This tree does not want to cooperate now. There we go. I guess I need to put some glue in that hole. Oh, that didn't really, didn't really go in there. Let's excavate, excavate some of this foam. You know, when Schuylkill River Valley does this, he makes it look so much easier when he's working on his bridge or whatever he's doing. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I pulled it off of there because the glue's still wet. That's all right. That's funny. See? I mean, it happens. She pulled it out. She pulled out all the cardboard along the bottom of the lounge that keeps the fabric hanging down. Rest of the lounge is fine. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Oh, you're absolutely welcome, John. It's the truth. You're like totally calm and everything's like methodical. And I'm over here going, eh, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so let's shove some glue in these holes. And I think this was the other one. All right. And we're going to have schmutz on that again. All right, let's shove this in here. Oh, I'm pushing as hard as I can. I think that's as good as it's going to get. All right. And doing that with that one. But this one really doesn't want to cooperate. These trees are like sticky and icky. I'm definitely going to make my own trees for my layout. All right, we got two trees. We got two people on two horses. We are two by two by two. This is quality entertainment right here, folks. It doesn't get any better than this. All right, where did I do with Plumber? Oh, he's still getting attacked by the tweezers. Oh. Wow, it's at an odd angle, isn't it? Not going to really be able to see him. I think Plumber's going to have to go on the end. I think I got a little carried away with trees. Yep. Plumber's going to have to go over here. There's like a little dip in the thing, so it's perfect. All right, so Plumber's going to go there, so I'm going to do... Oh, can I do, can I draw on it with a pen perhaps? Plumber's going to go right here. X marks the spot. That's plumber. All right. Plumber's been marked. All right. So two trees. I got tree bits everywhere. So what am I using for rocks? I have... Talus, which is in a big bag. I have some of this that I bought years and years ago. So I thought I would use some of that. And then I also have some, I believe this was ballast, some thin ballast. So I thought that that could be like, uh, you know, the rocks are getting pummeled and some of them got a little, a little banged together too much or whatever.
All right, so I don't think I'm going to be able to use that tree. Ooh, don't hurt the trees. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I could put a tree there. You know what? I might do that. I really want the third tree. Boy, these trees are... Have I said that I'm not a fan of these trees? Because <laughs> I'm not. These things are not. All right. Yeah, I think that it does look a lot better. Wow. That really went down in there, but it's not. It's like all the way down. Let's make the hole bigger. All right. Shoot some glue in there. Stabbing me in the hand. It's losing its top. It's like so gross because it's like it's not even, it's like sticky. Yeah, that tree's got an attitude problem. That's what's going on there. All right. I'm not going to touch it for a hot minute. Let's see if that glue sets up. I have, I don't have like a little stick or something that I could put the glue on. Oh, I do. I got the little sticky poo. This is my. It's just not cooperating. So I'm going to put some extra glue around it. We'll see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, it doesn't work, right? But at least I tried. And we're getting the glue all over the place because no job is complete if you're not making a mess. This tree's got an attitude. All right, I'm going to hold the tree. <sighs> da, 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 da. Holding the tree. Part right my mouth. Glue up to here. Put the lid on that. All right. So we're just going to hold the tree. Western Australia once was next to Brazil, too. Yeah, like the whole, everything was touching everything at one point. I think it's like going to go the other direction and start touching the other side. That didn't sound right. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I should have used a screwdriver. That probably would have been smart. I'll know for next time. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. I usually wait till an hour or two before the deadline to start on my... Len, you made me feel so much better. I wasn't even going to do it, to be honest with you, because I just could not come up with an idea. Like I said, if I have too much time on my hands, I can't. There's, It's just nothing there. And then uh, a week or two ago, Rick said, hey, you want to get together and figure out ideas for our lids? And I thought, all right. So then I grabbed, I was like, oh, I don't have a lid because I've still peanut butter in my jar. So I cannibalized one of them. I had to keep the one with Mr. Nisi in the kayak because that's my favorite so far. Guys, we're talking about the North Pole. Hey, Ray Bertelson, how's it going? Thank you, PK and W. I appreciate it. I'm trying. I'm hoping that this glue is like the best. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get I'm gonna get out of being in trouble of making that hole too big. That's what happened. So I'm hoping that it will uh, do it. Do you put the jar back on after complete? No, 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 no. That wouldn't be good at all. Try the other beef jerky. Okay, can I let go of this tree though? Nope. That tree is that tree is testy, is what it is. All right. The tree is standing. All right, let me try the other beef jerky. Where's the oh there it is. 
What is this? The original premium. Okay. I need skizzers. I need some skizzers. Okay. Let's see what we got. How does one cut a bag but doesn't cut the bag open? If I didn't want to cut the bag open, I would have ripped it apart. All right, let's see what we got. It smells like barbecue to me. This is really good. I really thought jerky was going to be gross. Oh, that's a good idea, Type Bond. I always think Type Bond is Type Bond is only for wood. But I've never looked at. Nice. <coughs> Tammy Ray's uh, stuff is coming along really, really nice. That's awesome. That's really awesome, Ray. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, no. I hope you guys can't hear me chew. Please tell me you can't. Because that's terrible if you can. Weld bond. Huh. Oh, Derek. <laughs> Everybody likes good type on. Oh, Sparky finally make it home safe? Good. I know, Len, you and uh, Ava really had it. Yesterday, just trying to go, go to dinner or something, you got stuck in like some bad weather. This is really good. I don't know. Oh, snacky snack. Hold on. I think it's going to stand. Everybody looks, it's actually straight up and down in the air. Hey, Ken, how's it going? I think I got lucky. Chomp, chomp, choo, choo. So I only used two out of the four horses, which is good. I don't think I'm going to, I might do the bald eagle though in the tree. That would be kind of cool at the top. That might be kind of cool. All right. You know, the more I think about it, I think I'm going to end up pulling out Heath and having him and it's like a, a meet and greet out in the woods. <laughs> Let me pull him out so that I don't forget. Heath, there you go. You know what would be good is because Rick's got that Christmas tree that he's standing with. I know I could cut it off if I wanted to. But that would be good for, like, if Mini Prince does a Christmas one. So, I don't want to I don't want to use him yet. I want to save him. And then I still have Tom with his bag of Doritos. Paint him in some Daisy Dukes. <laughs> and Tom and Daddy are celebrating their 14th anniversary. Today. They went out to eat today. Now I'm sucking my teeth. That beef jerky. All right, DB Tech. You got me sold on beef jerky. I made it 51 and a half years without ever having tried beef jerky. And I got to say it's worth it. It is good stuff. All right. I can't do much more with this because... I can't really move that tree around too much. It's still pretty wet. But I'm happy to say it's standing. I have the three tree rule. So no even numbers, except the horses are even, but whatever. Those are always in pairs. I'm happy that I don't have a straight line. Oops, I touched it. I don't have a straight line because nothing is straight. I'm the figure plumber. I have an X that marks a spot around this tree that you can't see. There's an X that marks a spot. Plumber will be doing like a dive bomb here. 
I'll put Sparky and Heath placed over here. These people on the horses will be ticked off. They'll be calling Ranger Rick. Oh, Ranger Rick. I need a Rick to complain. And I wonder. I originally was going to do like a rock. Oh, that tree just moved because I touched it. You know, can't leave well enough alone. I originally was going to do like a rocks falling off the wall and blocking the path. I don't think I can do that anymore. So I might just use some talus on top and then a little bit along the edge. There's no need for that. And then I have this dirt. This is dirt that came with uh, a gravel road kit from Woodland Scenics. I put the rest of it in here that I didn't use. And I might glue some of that down to make that not look like it was just a painted ground. And then I have some ground cover that I will probably smush around the tree and a little bit along the edges here. I do have moss that I bought, but I don't see the point using that. And then the bald eagle on top. And then I think I'm good. I don't even think I'll be using this ground up stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's any point in it. So, oh, my tree fell again. No, don't do it. Please don't. Come on, Mr. Tree. Be nice. Play nice with me. All right. I think I've done it. PBL entry. Take figure holding garden shovel. Use chunky PB. Shake it really good. Make sure PB is stuck to the lid. Remove lid. Flip lid over. <laughs> Set the figure in the middle. Instant peanut butter. <laughs> farm diorama oh my gosh all right t4 <laughs> it seems like you got it made good night ken all right you guys i think that's all i'm gonna do for tonight um i can't really do any more with it it's that tree is obviously gonna be a problem i believe i can shove some filler down around it because i did make the hole too big the idea of using like a smaller screwdriver to do it would be a better idea than me scooping it out the way I did. I made it the hole too big. So I will fix that. I'm really excited to have it figured out with uh, Plumber and Heath and Sparky and my bald eagles. You guys were awesome helping me figure that out. And I think I'm going to call it. One thing I don't want to forget is that next Sidetrack Sunday is going to be on Foltz Bailey. So on Rick's channel. And I don't know what he's going to be doing over there or what he's even talking about. Two minute epoxy works. You know what, Ken? I'm nervous about epoxy. And I think that's what I'm going to be using on my water feature. I mean, two minute epoxy, you, you just need a little bit. Uh, don't, does that make it like a whole lot? I don't know enough about that stuff. I know my son-in-law is going to be awesome and help me do the water because he deals with epoxy. But that's like out of my wheelhouse. Remember, Nisi J, I used peanut butter for my first ground material. Really? I'm I'm blown away. Thanks, Dave. DB Tech, I appreciate it. All right, you guys. Thanks for everybody coming in tonight. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. This was really fun. I was kind of nervous because walking and chewing bubble gum at the same time doesn't always work for me. But I did it. I will see you guys next week on Rick's channel, Foltz Bailey. You guys have a great night. Take care. Be safe. Stay cool. If it's raining, stay dry and don't get in any trouble. See you next Sunday. Take care, everyone. Bye. Oops. I can't get there. There we go. Peace.